a deed. Yes. Yes, exactly. Hello, yeah. people. Daddy's home. baby doing today? Fine. Yeah, good to see you. Good to see you. What have you been doing with mommy? With, with my numbers. With your numbers? Yes. And I hope you're doing a good job. Yes. Guess what? Yes. I have a present for you. Yay! Yay! Let me get you the present. <laughs> but we have to do our best. My apologies. Let's do it. One, two, three, go! <laughs> <laughs> Let me get you a hit. Yay! Mommy, you see my daddy bought for me. I can see. This is beautiful. What did you say to daddy? Thank you. All right. Now go finish your numbers. Go and finish your numbers. And here Baby. she comes. <laughs> You're swallowing this girl every day. <laughs> I can smell something. It smells like jealousy. Babe, I'm not jealous. Stop. <laughs> that was your day. Awesome. Apart from the Lagos traffic, everything has been so fine. Oh. That traffic can undo someone. I know, right? So yeah. sorry about that. So sorry. Guess what, too? What? Let me get it for you. <laughs> not again. What do you expect? Close your eyes. Okay, my eyes are closed. My eyes are still closed. I'm coming. Anchala. <sighs> oh, my goodness, baby. This is so beautiful. And I know this must have cost you a fortune. Ah, fortune? Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. You know I'll do anything for you. But I must let you know too that nothing is as precious as you in this world, darling. my darling. <laughs> Thank you. You are so sweet. Love you too. <laughs> and I can't stop loving you. I love you so much. <laughs> Where's our little one? She's with her numbers. Audrey. Wakey, wakey. And you wake up. Wake up before you go late to work. Shower is ready. Wake up. <laughs> Sleepy head. Please wake up. Let me check on now. Audrey. I can still see you. Wake up. Hey, beautiful. Baby. Mommy, I want to go back to sleep. I know, darling, but you'll be late to school. Get up! Ooh. Let me try. Oh, no way! <laughs> it's only your father that can carry you. All right, wear your slippers. Have you greeted me today? No. All right. Good morning,
taste really good. <laughs> Thank you, darling. You are one in a million. Sweetie, this is nothing. Come on. <laughs> I know, but it's the heart where it's coming from that matters. You're welcome. Um, since Audrey got dressed up earlier today, don't you think it would be a good idea if she rides with me? Aww. That's so sweet, babe. Welcome. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Welcome. Guess what, baby? Look, You're coming. driving with daddy. <laughs> yeah! She'll be excited yeah. to do that, I know. <laughs> Hold on. Good evening. Thank you. Whoa. Oh, more. <laughs> Thank you very much. Baby. Happy wedding anniversary, my darling. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. You're most welcome, darling. Baby, you are so sweet. And you are the sweetest of all. <laughs> Thank you very much for being my wife. Thank you for being my helpmate. I want to thank you especially for being my partner, my companion. Darling, above all, thank you for being my soulmate. You are the sunshine that radiates my life daily. I love you so much, baby. Nothing in this world compares to you. <laughs> you want to make me cry, baby. <laughs> I love you, Mom. You are my king, my world, my everything. I can never stop loving you. Thank you so much. What's that sound? What sound? Oh, oh, that. Uh, yeah, let's go check it out. Okay. Yeah. But it's, it's okay. Take it easy. Take it easy. What? Take it easy now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Honey. Babe. Please accept this as a token of my love for you. Oh. Baby, this is my car. Yeah, it is your car. Oh, I got a car, my goodness. <laughs> Come on, who's the best husband in the world? Michelle Adindo, the bookworm. Is that you? Juliet in Jamal's day. Oh my God. <laughs> Juliet, look at you. Oh my God. Oh it's no. over 12 years since we left Say secondary school. Again, girl. <laughs> look at your shit. Thank hey, girl, you. you look so good. <laughs> Please take it easy on me. You're making me blush. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> thanks, girl. Where have you been? <laughs> no one saw you, not even at reunions, get-togethers. Where have you been? <laughs> Girl, you're right. Anyways, I actually traveled after a year after we finished from high school. Oh. You know the way these things are. And then the rest is history. <laughs> wow, it's really good to see you. Good so to you see stay you around too. town? Yeah. Yes, I do. I'm heading one of our newest branch here. You don't say? Don't say. Yes, I'm quite new here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> so what about you? What do you do? Oh, me? <laughs> Actually, um, I'm a full-time housewife. <laughs> Girl, Michelle Indindo, full housewife. 
No, that can be possible. Ah, all of the books that you've been reading, where did you throw that to? You are one of the smartest girls in our set. No, girl. My no, sister. no, that is not possible. You can be a full housewife. So sorry. Is this your pretty daughter? Yeah, say hi to oh, Auntie. Baby. How are you, beautiful? Come and say hello to me. How are you? She's so pretty. Yeah. And I'm sure she's as brilliant as you are. Mm -hmm. You can say that mm -hmm. again. Hi, so good to see you, girl. So good so to, see, good you to see you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Anyways, girl, we have a whole lot to catch up with, you know. So here is my card. So please call. Julie, and I will show call you. you I'll have call to. you. <laughs> you definitely have to call. All right, me. darling. All right, bye. Have a nice day. <gasps> bye. That's my secondary school bye, classmate. Anna. Bye, baby. Bye. She looks so My little pumpkin. Ayah! Boing! You gotta sit Oh, baby. Yeah. Hey, honey. Hey, darling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How you doing? <sighs> I had to start cooking when you didn't come on time. What happened? I'm so sorry, honey. I ran into an old school classmate of mine at the supermarket. I see. And then we got gisting. Mm. I totally forgot time. I'm so sorry. It's okay. So you leave the groceries here, go inside, I'll put everything in the fridge. Oh, thank you so much. I need to freshen up. Go. Thank you. Yeah. That smells so delish, delish. Do you have to ask? <laughs> hey, Master Chef himself is here. He can hey. say that again. What do you expect from Master Cook? Come on, that's my guy. <laughs> here you go. Sweetie, I'm right back. Hey, baby. <sighs> so what happened today? Tell me everything. You want to have Daddy in the kitchen? So what are you going to eat today? I've already prepared something, though. If you didn't come back home on time, that's why I couldn't prepare your favorite. But you eat my favorite, right? I like that. So, your best friend in school again. What did you say to her name again? Michelle Adindo, a full-time housewife. A housewife even with the first class degree in marketing. Michelle, you are a first class housewife. Just look at Julie. Julie in German. <laughs> Julie that can barely complete a sentence. A girl that will copy, copy everything and even copy my name in the exam hall is now the executive director of a fast-growing real estate company. Wow. <laughs> How did I get to this level? I rely on my husband for stipends. While the person I'm smarter than have the world at her feet. Michelle, the first class housewife. Girl, I'm so happy seeing you again after mm -hmm. 12 years. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh my God, Look I'm so you. happy. Come here, come take a hug again. <laughs> Diva, tell me. Mm -mm. You know, I miss those good old days then. Oh, sorry. Hello? Oh my God, so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, not to worry. 
You can just schedule for 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. Yes, tell them to come back 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. Yeah, that'll be great. Mm. Thank you, bye. <laughs> my dear, so sorry. That was my secretary that actually called. Do you know I just missed an important meeting? I totally forgot. Wow. Mm. Um, so what are you going to do now? Not to worry. I've already rescheduled for the meeting for 10 a.m. tomorrow. Okay. So it's not a problem. Mm -hmm. We have the whole day to ourselves, girl. Enjoy. Seriously, girl. Yeah. You have achieved so much. Tell me about it. I mean, you have achieved a milestone. Mm -hmm. Very early in life. <laughs> I'm happy for the height you've attained, though. I am really happy for you. Look at me. I haven't even started scratching the surface of the earth. <laughs> no, girl. Mm. Now you're flattering me. Mm? Yes. Well, thanks to you too. But you know what? I don't think if I've gotten married, I would have been able to achieve this much. Yes. I mean, this height I've attained, being answerable to someone, being submissive. <laughs> you know the way men are now. I can't watch all this I've achieved just go down the drain like that. No, baby girl, not in this life. Not at all. But come to think of it, that's just my own opinion. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. There's no problem at all. Mm -hmm. But on a more serious note, yeah. Julie, mm. please, I need a job. <laughs> I mean, I can't continue wasting away at home. I need to get a job. Please, um, I, I don't know if you can create a create um an opening for me at your firm or something. Please. See this married woman talking. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what is it now? Story. But trust me, baby girl. Are you sure you really want to work? Don't you think you're better building your family? Building be, your be, be Building what? <laughs> building what? You know what now. do you take me for? Have you forgotten how smart and intelligent I can be? I am equal to the task. Continue hyping yourself. You know you're intelligent. <laughs> but if you insist, not to worry. Send me your CV. That's my girl. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'll put a word to one or two persons. Oh, this means a lot to um, me. Yeah, I'm sure they will create something. Thank you for very you. much. You're Thank welcome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're always my darling. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to be a. Star. I just hope that man will allow you walk. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, little pumpkin. Good morning. <sighs> Where's mommy? Oh, there she is. Good morning, Beauty. darling. Aren't you done? You're done? You're good? Are you full? You're sure? All right, chop, chop. Grab your box. Let's go. Good morning, darling. Let's go, let's go. We're running late. Hold, hold on to this. 
Let's go, let's go. Hey. <laughs> I'm happy to see you. Welcome, ma. Thank you. <laughs> hey, see how you are looking so beautiful. Hey. Oh, babe. You are looking so good. I must stop. Oh, I must stop. Hey. How was your trip? My dear, it was so stressful. Oh. Ah, the roads were in bad shape. Oh. Ah, thank God for joining us. Thank God. Thank God. Because let me drop this in. I'll, hey, I'll, be, I'll be down. Hey. In a jiffy. Hey. Mm -hmm. Audrey, Grandma is here. Grandma. Wow! <laughs> my granddaughter. How are you? I'm fine. Ah, ah, look at you. You look so good. How are you? Fine. Ah, 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 I can't even lift you. Oh! My daddy How are can you? carry me. Your daddy can carry you. You know, your daddy is a man now. Nah, and Grandma is a woman. Eh? Yes. I have a gift for you. Yay! Yeah. Mm, I know you will like it. Yay! Hey! Hey! How? Oh, 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 beautiful! So this baby of yesterday. Grandma, thank you! <laughs> <laughs> look at my baby of yesterday. Mm -hmm. She has grown so big. Hmm. She's the one eating all our food in this hey, house. Hey, that's a good one. <laughs> Mama, how is everyone now? I am fine. I don't need to ask. I can see you are looking good. <laughs> that reminds me. I've not seen my husband. Does he mean they normally come back home late? Hmm. Oh, now! <laughs> Mama! Top of the devil! <laughs> welcome! I was just talking about you now, ah. before you walked in. Wow, that's a thoughtful You're of you. You're welcome, eh? Good to see you, Ma. Same here. Welcome. welcome. How was the trip? Mm, we thank God for Johnny Mercy. Oh, we thank God. And how was work today? So nice, as usual. Yeah, welcome, eh? <laughs> Leo. Darling, how are you? Oh. Mm -hmm. um, Mama, let me brush upstairs okay. and then All right. freshen up. You need it, eh? Go I'll be Thank waiting you. for you. Thank you. Oh, oh come on. No, because I will fix something for you to eat. As if you know that I'm coming. <laughs> so please, please. I'm coming, All right. Mama. Hey, what? Are you even listening to me at all? Dave! Look. What is going on? Why have you been giving me all this cold treatment? Huh? Talk to me. What's the problem? What's the problem? Yes. Now you ask me, what's the problem? I'm tired. I'm tired of lazing about in this house. For the past four years, all I do is eat, sleep, do groceries, take Audrey to school. I'm tired. I'm not your maid. I'm your wife and I deserve to be absent. Hey, 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 hey. So this is why you've been giving me all this attitude. Fencing me out for no cause of mine, for nothing that I have done. Look, it was you that said that you were getting stressed from the job you were doing. And I agreed with you that there is no point in you continuing. I should work and you are supposed to stay home and take care of our child, our children. Have I not done my part well? So what are you talking about? Look at me. Dave, I graduated top of my class. You know that. But ever since, what have I been doing? I just sit in this house and do absolutely nothing. While my mates are out there doing excellently well. I want to change the narrative. I want to go out there, get a job, and experience a new type of happiness. Happiness, you say? Michelle, have I not provided all your needs? 
Have I not given you everything that you need? Have I, have I failed in any regard? Michelle, let me tell you, and I'll be very frank with you. I do not support you going to get a job out there. Then you do not approve of peace in this house. I mean, what is all this? You want to put me in a box all in the name of marriage? No, I won't take it. I will not take it, Dave. Hey, what's this all about? What, what's wrong with you, Michelle? Ab initial, we both agreed. You stay home, take care of the family. I go out and fend for us. I think I've done a damn good job. You, I don't support going out to get another job. And I'm tired of this going back and forth. I have a session to attend at the gym and I don't want to be late. Good day. I'll get a job. I'm not buying that rubbish you're talking about. I want to be like Julie. I want to be like my mates. Look at me. Who are you listening to? Who know. are you watching? Yeah? I don't know what you're talking about, Mama. Listen to me, young lady. Marriage is not child's play. Inanuya, you don't need to raise shoulders at your husband. Because I never did it to your father. Marriage is compromise. I know when you made the decision to resign from your place of work. In fact, you made the decision yourself. And ever since then, your husband has been taking good care of you and your daughter. So what else are you looking for? I know I made the decision to resign my job, Mom. But things have changed. I need to dust my CV and get a job. Mm -hmm. I need to start building my career. Mom, I'm not getting any younger. Career? Or say career? Against the detriment of your home. Okay? The Bible says a wise woman builds her home. But it's the foolish one that does what? That destroys her home. Meaning, I have said all I have to say to you. Also, go. Again, if you like, don't listen to me. Let me go and see my granddaughter and know how she's doing. If you like, pretend as if you've not heard me say anything. It's left to you. Yes, Mama. Thank you. 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 Adam Naya, look at the time. Look at when you are coming back home. A married woman. Adam Naya, you left this house since 9 a.m. And you are just coming back now. <laughs> Assuming I'm not in this house, that is how the school bus would have carried my granddaughter back to school to wait for you until you finish gallivanting around the town before you go and pick her. Okay? Mom, it's not like that. I was with my friend, Julie, and we had a very lengthy conversation. Then I visited her office project. I could have come back home earlier, Mama, but you know the traffic. Rejection. Inanuya, look at the nonsense that is coming out from this gutter you call mouth. Imagine what you're saying. I went with my friend to inspect uh, her office project. Did you ever know Inspector General of Projects? Or Minister of Works? Which one? Do you know what? Sometimes I wonder the way you reason. 
I don't know how you reason sometimes. Mom, I don't like the way you're shouting at me in my house. Follow me, Shut up! I like the way I talk to you. You have grown now. I could want to So you can now rub shoulder with me. Look, if I give you this hand, eh? If me this my hand, land on your cheek. That's your brain. It will reset it for you. Look at how my granddaughter was busy eating that food. The way she was eating to show that she was hungry. You want this girl to develop ulcer? Okwaya? <laughs> Mom, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to let me quickly prepare dinner and then I'll finish my daughter's assignments. Sorry, no. I'm Don't sorry. bother yourself. I've already made the dinner. What you need to go, just go up. Shower. Take your razor. You come and guide her on her assignments. Nemo. Mom, Nemo. Thank you. Mommy, you know I love you. I love you too. But if you try it again next time, I will show you better. Or I'm not. Wake up. Honey. Mm. Could have just so you enjoy this my sleeping peace. I just said I couldn't wait. We need to talk. Please wake up. See, it's about this friction that's been going on between us for some time now. I think we should talk about it. I don't know what you're talking about. If you know what I'm talking about, I have decided to let you go and look for a job. Really? That's what you want. Are you sure? I'm sure, darling. No, that's the man I married. Mm. Oh, come on. Daddy, thank you. Thank you, baby. Thank you so much. But on one condition. She must be able to balance your role as a worker and that of a mother and a wife. And above all, as the matriarch of this family. That is not a problem, my king. Oh. Welcome. <laughs> No. Good evening, Mom. Welcome, my daughter. Mm -hmm. Thank you. are back. You're welcome, um, eh? Julie, meet my mom. Mom, this is Julie, my secondary school classmate. Good evening, Ma. Oh. You're welcome, eh? Thank you. Thank you. Please sit down. What do I have for you? Water, juice. You just drink water and mind our business. Water is fine. Let <laughs> me get you water. I'll be right back. Thank you. Thank you. Mom, I know. I hope you're okay. I'm fine. Okay. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. mm. There you go. Oh, thank you. I know, you've been complaining. Mm -hmm. Let me excuse you, girl, sir. Is it right, Mama? Uh, I need to go and rest my back a bit. Yeah. Mm? I'm coming. <laughs> I must confess, your house looks so beautiful. Thank you. <sighs> thank you. She should be asleep by now. <laughs> okay. Chereba, where is your friend? I just saw her off. <laughs> Adan Maya, you have to be very careful with that girl. I don't like her any bit. And my instinct tells me that she's not a nice person. Mom, how could you say such a thing? Is she married? No. You see it? 
You see? You see what? Mom, Julie is a very nice person. She's a sweet soul. She's a top level business career woman. <laughs> Mom, ah. do you know she's the one helping me in getting a job? Oh, I see. So she's the one you've been patterning your life with lately that made you revolt against your husband. Okay? Mom, please stop. Please. I've had a long day. I need to go in and rest my head. Biko. Oh, you are leaving, eh? So you are walking out on me. Ha. I have said my own, no. I have said it. Not tomorrow now, you said I did not tell you. Because what an elderly person will see sitting down, even if you climb the highest mountain, you will not see it, though. I have said it. They are calling her a good person. Look at the way she's dressed. I wonder. I've said my own. Ugokwana. Hey, darling. No rules here. Guess what? What? Guess what? what's in this envelope? What is it? <laughs> Babe, I just got a job placement in a real estate company. Oh. Mwah. I just got a job placement with a real estate company. Oh. Mm hmm. Oh. oh. Mm hmm. And the pay? Mouthwatering. <laughs> Look at, look at, look at, just look at my name, babes. Congratulations. Honey, you don't sound excited. No, 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 I'm happy for you. I mean, I mean I, I'm, I'm happy for us. You are? Yes, I am. Thank you. <laughs> Sweetie, I've had a long day. Let me go in and freshen up. I'll join you, you do soonest. Go ahead. Real estate company. Real estate. Hmm. Morning, babe. Ah, good morning. You're all dressed up. Where yeah. are you going this early? Um, honey. I've got an early morning meeting in the office, so I need to get to the office early enough. Honey, could, please, could you help me prepare Audrey for school? Um, just bait her, prepare noodles for her, that's all. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Are you serious? Or you're joking? Sudi, I'm running late already. I love you. Are you expecting a guest? Oh! Delivery man, excuse me. Hold on. Thank you. Oops, so hot. Okay, I already made the transfers. What are those? Um, these are soups I ordered online. This is, I think the agusi is here, and this is um, okra soup. I'm sure this will last us for a week. Let me just quickly put them in the freezer. freezer. Uh, excuse me. I don't understand. When did we start ordering food from vendors? Huh? I thought the normal idea is for us every Saturday to go to the market buy our goods, come home and do our cooking ourselves. And coupled with the attending unwholesome risk of eating food you don't know where it's made from. Dave. This is not a good idea. There is nothing wrong with this meal. The vendor who delivered it is a very reputable person. There is no thing like contracting any, any fever or from so-called wholesome meal. This is well-cooked meal. I still don't believe this is a good idea. We both agreed that we will be making food at home. The idea of going out to eat was cancelled from the onset, right? And when you made this agreement with yourself to start ordering food from outside, why didn't you run it by me? Run this by you? 
Are you just trying to get on my nerves or what? You are just being unfair, honey. I work myself out from Monday through Friday. Today is the only day I have to rest. And you're pushing me to cook? You're just being unsensitive and I'm not going to take it. I knew it. Girl, so you mean your husband actually did that to you? My sister. Hmm. <laughs> That's serious. Like really, what's wrong with this man? What's really wrong with our men? I, I really don't get it. You see, that's why I've told myself I'm not going to get married. I'm not even interested in marriage. Because I don't get, I can't tolerate this nonsense from men. But please don't get me wrong. That's just my own humble opinion. I said, don't get me no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. I, I'm, I'm not getting you wrong at all. I buy what you're saying. I mean, I don't understand why a man should complain over his wife getting a decent job to better her life. I mean, I don't get it. It's just sheer jealousy, absolute jealousy if you ask me. For me, Mitchell, I just feel like, do you see this gender called men? I don't even know why God created them in the first place. Because there's something about them, especially when they are women, when they started saying money, they are successful. They start feeling intimidated. They start getting jealous. I mean, why? Shouldn't a man be so happy that his wife is doing so well? I mean, you know, you better be careful. And I can't take that. And I feel it's high time you put him in his place. You're right. If you don't do that, girl, I pity you. You're... It's high time you put him in his place and stop tolerating his bullshit. You're right. Yes. Absolutely right. Oh, I've said my own. Imagine. Hey, Michelle, you had better just do something. I hope you enjoyed your meal, honey. It was a sumptuous meal. <laughs> I enjoyed it. <laughs> um, babes. Huh? Um, I'll be traveling tomorrow. I have a business meeting to attend in Abuja. You have a business meeting in Abuja? Yeah. And you're just telling me now? Um... I just got the mail that I was scheduled to travel. I didn't know about it. That is not fair. That's not fair. You cannot just tell me now that you'll be traveling to Abuja tomorrow. This is taking me unawares. Look, I am also preparing for a presentation. I'll be pitching for a new client who's coming to our firm. So, this is too sudden. You can't just... Tell me you're going to Abuja tomorrow. But you know this is not my fault. It's the management. You want me to query the management and lose my job? Management, my foot. I did not aware that you're a married woman. It is your responsibility to be aware of all this and put consideration into this before sending you on a trip to Abuja. Look, what about Audrey? Who is going to pick her up from school tomorrow? I don't know. I've been advocating for us to get a nanny in this house. But that has been falling on deaf ears. Now what do you want me to do? I don't know how you want to do it, but I have a career to build. Oh, career, my foot. A good woman builds her home. Hmm? Yes. So says the holy book. And this is what you're going to do. You will go and meet your company management and tell them to opt you out of that summit because this is, will not work. <laughs> you must be joking. Read my lips. You're obviously brewing for trouble that you cannot contend with in this house. Then try me. Really? We shall see. We'll see. We will see! Oh, shit. Ah. A rattlesnake.
Good evening, Mom. Save your greatest, Mitchell. Your husband just called me a while ago to complain about you. Which organization fixes a meeting with such urgency without informing the staff from the onset? You learned about the meeting before now, and you feel it is not necessary to inform your husband about it. Okay? Mom. Mom, I just got to know about the summit. I just got the mail. And this is one summit I need to attend. It will boost my career, Mom. Ah, Chegon. Chegon, you are talking to your mom. Is that illiterate? Have you forgotten I just retired as a school headmistress? Look at your mouth and career. I have been saying it, but you won't listen. When you finally see that which you are looking for, it will not come. Okay, I do require you. Good night. Dave. Dave, you're pushing me. Mr. Chairman, thank you for giving me the opportunity to make this presentation. Uh, the project is situated in the southeast of the country, and it's about uh, 200 acres of land we're talking about here. Uh, the people have been informed about our intention, but if you look at the graph very well, it has been altered in some areas where we cannot touch. And those aspects have to be... Excuse me, please. So as I was saying, uh, the new area, we have to approach them and make sure that coupled with Coupled with events in the south uh, west, a lot of efforts have to be put in to make sure that the orbas and kings have to be appeased. And if whatever it takes, we have to make sure that the desert is not encroached upon over. In that regard, we must consult them first and make sure that uh, uh, excuse me sir please 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 your mommy has not come to pick you yet Hello. don't worry your mommy is coming to get you okay guess what hey see your daddy's darling, here baby. daddy yeah my darling <laughs> Sorry, I came late. Good evening, so, sir. Oh, good evening. She has been waiting for you, sir. I know. I'm so she, sorry. It's okay, I'm sir. Sorry. All right, sir. Hi, darling. Come on, let's go. Bye, Audrey. Bye, teacher. Bye. Sir. Thank you once again. Hey, here we go. Ow! Boing! Hello, pumpkin. Daddy, is mommy coming back from work? Unfortunately, mommy is not coming back from work today. I am not sleeping since mommy comes back from work. She's not coming back today. She traveled. And you cannot say you're not going to sleep. You have to sleep. You're going to school tomorrow. Mommy will be back over the weekend. But daddy, mommy doesn't love me anymore. Oh, she does love you. Mommy loves you a lot, and so does Daddy too. Mommy and Daddy loves you. Yes, Daddy. I love you too, Pumpkin. I love you too, Daddy. Good night. Good night, baby. Okay, so you have a wonderful night rest. Okay? Oh, what about the story? Oh, the story. Okay. I want the beautiful story. Okay. Let me Without Pumpkin, the lady. Let me, let me tell you. In a land far, far away, there lives a little girl. 
who habitat in this very small hut. Audrey, would you like to join me? Ah. I have to keep packing and working and working all the time. Audrey! Where is Audrey? Come on, help me now. Come on. It's tough doing all Anybody this alone. Anybody home? Guess what? M Mommy is back. <laughs> Mommy. Oh, my pumpkin. Look at you. I missed you, baby. So sorry. I missed you. Can you miss me? Beautiful. Where's Daddy? Good evening, honey. Hello, darling. How was the trip? Ah, oh, it was exhausting. I'm so drained. Mm. Come here, baby. Welcome back. Thank you. Mm. You go in and refresh yourself. Sweetie, huh? I got you candies. Yay! <laughs> there you go. I know you I like that. Candy. What do you say? Thank you, I love you. Let's go inside. Bye, Leave bye. Daddy to pack this. <laughs> I missed you guys so much. You're welcome. Good to have you back. Likewise, honey. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Mr. Dave. Please sit. Thank you. Good morning. <sighs> um, okay. The company have noticed your nonchalant attitude towards work. And as such, we are losing. The clients are not impressed with your work. And they've taken a decision to terminate your contract effective today. Uh, uh, Please leave all companies' properties in your possession on your way out. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Here. Terminate my appointment, sir. Oh, please, sir. This can't happen to me. I promise if given a second chance, I will do all my best to make sure that this company gets to its greatest heights. Please, sir, please. Mr. Dave, I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do. The decision was not taken solely by me. The board of directors met, and as such, there's nothing Absolutely nothing that I can do. But, 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 sir, you could have put in a word or two on my behalf. You know me, sir. You know. I, I, I promise to redouble my efforts to make sure that... Mr. Dave, I'm sorry. Leave all company properties in your possession. I wish you all the best in your endeavors. I have a series of meetings to attend to today. Please, have a nice day. Sir, sir, sir. Hey, honey. Good evening. Good evening. You're early home today. Um, yes, I had a land inspection with um, an investor. Mm. And well, when we finished earlier, I just thought to come home and rest. But you, you were home earlier than usual. Is everything okay? <clears throat> that explains it all. Honey, this is a sack letter. Oh my god. You lost your job? How? Why? Should be you have the letter with you. You read it. This is as a result of your non challenge towards work, lateness to. Uh, babes, this is nonsense. This is. This is rubbish. Guess you're happy now. 
Your attitude has cost me my job. No. No, no, no. I'm not going to be blamed for you losing your job. Hear her talk. I begged you. I begged you. You never listened. All responsibility at home became for me, myself, and I. You leave home first thing in the morning, and you come back late at night. Now I became saddled with getting our daughter ready for school. I'll have to go and drop her at school also. And this has had an adverse effect on my getting to job on time. And I also have to leave the office on time. There it is. I guess you're happy now. And this is just unfair. This is just unfair that you will heap your whole misfortune on me. When someone hears you talk, it will seem as though I'm the reason for you losing this job. You know that my job is also demanding. I have to meet my sales target for the month. <laughs> sales target indeed. Now I have to worry about how to pay the mortgage and all the other accruing bills for the month. It's my responsibility. How will I now live up? Tell me. You just have to take everything easy. Calm down. We'll find a way around this, please. <laughs> don't, don't put your misfortune on me. Calm down at a moment like this. She doesn't get it. <laughs> Imagine blaming me for losing his job. Blaming you? I mean, why would he be blaming you? It's only serious, so. I don't understand. Ah. Well, that's his business. I really do not care. You better watch it before it transfers aggression on you. Transfer aggression? Yes. <laughs> why? How is, how is that my fault? How am I to be blamed for any of his misfortunes? Okay. Please, it dare not. <laughs> no. Really? Oh. I think it's high time I stop mendling in people's affairs, especially married people. Oh. What? You know me now. Julie, I am single to stupor. Oh. <laughs> Woo. Mm. But girl, you really need to watch before things get out of hand. You're right. Absolutely right. Especially this gender, they need to be put in their place. This girl, let's eat. We did not just come. Audrey, I think it's time for homework. You're not going to do homework? I'm not ready for it's so, homework. It's okay. They don't call it homework anymore, they call it home. Darling, how are you? Fine. How was school today? Fine. Have you had something to eat? No. Why hasn't she eaten? It's just past 6 p.m. Really? Yeah. I walk myself out to provide food in this house. The least you could do is make sure my daughter doesn't starve. But the pride in you won't let you do that. Watch your tongue, woman. You don't talk to me like this in the presence of our daughters. Sweetie, please you go to your room. Okay? Yeah, take your books. There you go. I'll join you soon. I won't take this from you. You don't come back home and start hurling insults at me. Watch your tongue. I'm not hurling insults at you. What you do all day is sit and watch TV. While I go out there and earn a living, yet you still expect me to come back and feed our daughter? How? How is that possible? What's wrong with you? How do you, where do you get the idea from that I've been sitting at home all day? Huh? 
I've been walking the streets of Lagos looking for a job so that I can come and provide for the family. And here you are, hauling in souls at me. Chief provider. But when it comes to pay the bills, I don't see you providing nada. For instance, the electricity is out. This is Mpata. Have you sought the bills? No. What is the providing you're doing? Provider my foot. Ordinary electricity bill you can't fix. Michelle, it's me you're talking Please. to. Please. Pumpkin. Hmm. Is that not your husband, Dave? Ah, oh, yeah, that's him. Like, really, why is he checking under this hot sun? Job hunting, I guess. Can't you see the file he's holding? <laughs> really? What happened to his car? That's true. I haven't noticed that car in the past two weeks or so. Wow. Maybe he packed it at the mechanic or something. Wow. I don't know. Man, dear, this is really bad. He hasn't seen anything yet. <gasps> at the slightest provocation, he can't wait to tell me, I am the man of the house. I am the man of the house that cannot provide ordinary bill. My dear, you really need to take it down with your husband. I mean, you're being too hard on him. Too Baby girl, him. please turn on this AC. I'm sweating. I need to go to the spa and pamper myself. I don't come this way, I can't suffer. Okay, oh. I can see you started making money now. That reminds me, I also need to make, um, pick some hair. Babe, bills on you. Bills? You just got an Bring increment in salary. Girl. Bills on you me. Just, you just I'm got not dead. Yes. yes. <laughs> Let's go. Please turn on the AC. Go on. Every piece of the puzzle was in place. I must confess. Okay. Yes, sir. I haven't spoken with my boss yet, but our standard is 80% upfront. Yes, the land can get you um, 60 to 70 um, duplexes. Yes, that will make a standard estate. No, we can't do 50%. No, 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 not even 60. The least we do is 80% upfront, sir. Okay. I'll be expecting your call tomorrow. Meanwhile, I'll also speak to my boss about it. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. 
Do have a nice day. Darling, can we talk? Babe, but you can see I'm still busy. It's all right. When you're done, just let me know and then we'll talk. What is it you want us to talk about? I've been meaning to ask you if it is possible for me to borrow your car. I could use it as a cab, you know, a taxi, to get in some income instead of just idling and staying at home. Doing oh, nothing. Hold, hold, hold on. You want to use my car for a taxi business? <laughs> well, babe, you know that's not possible. I mean, you have an SUV. You could sell it and get a smaller car for your car business. I agree with you. My car is already with the dealership. I've put it up for sale. I want to use part of the money to pay the arrears I owe them. And then whatever is left, I can use it to buy a smaller car, which I can be using as a taxi. That's all. Listen, the company's car is the company's. I can't risk my car for a taxi business. No. I mean, you can talk to your friends, family members, or better still, why not apply for a car hire purchase? You know, I could recommend some companies you, you'd partner with, if you don't mind. Hmm. Hey, don't worry about that. It's okay. I'll think about it and I'll send it to you. Thank you for your advice. Hi, baby. See, my dress is it beautiful? Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. But when did this dress come? Oh, pumpkin, let's go. Uh, honey, dear, why is she putting on this new school uniform? Oh, um, it's a new one. I changed her school. I, I, I felt it was ideal to change her school, so I enrolled her in a hybrid area of town, the Montessori near there. <laughs> and you didn't even bother to let me know about it? Huh? Oh, I don't understand. What do you take me for? It's just a change of school, Dave. <laughs> you took her daughter away from her school. You went to enroll her in another school. You don't think it's proper for me to be aware of this? What's wrong with you? What are you doing? Why are you being so paranoia this morning? Me? Paranoia? You should be grateful I'm doing you a favor. I'm taking away your shame, taking up your responsibility. But I see you're up for some trouble this morning. You know what? Sadly for you, I'm set for work. Sweetie, let's go. We could do anything. Imagine questioning me why I had to pull Audrey from her previous school. Like, girl, I was only <laughs> doing that man a favor. I mean, is Audrey not my daughter too? Don't I have her interest at heart? What is all this? You see, that's my problem with men. You see, men and their ego, eh? I just don't know what it is. I don't know how God just created them. Imagine Adams even blaming Eve for his falling. Anything that consigns, you know, women and their progress like this, they are always very, very unsure. They feel intimidated by it. They don't want their women to do anything. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. Did you know the most funny thing and annoying part of this whole <laughs> thing is when you try to advise him, he will act as though he has the most superior of knowledge. Knowledge that cannot produce <laughs> one single result. None. Superior knowledge, my foot. Mm. You see? You see me, I will not take that nonsense from any man. Don't even try to involve me in this your issue at all. I don't want to put my mouth in all this trivia matter. At all. It's your business, so you better face it. It's getting too much. 
Why will a man be feeling intimidated because I'm successful? It's my ah. cross. But see, eh? Come to think of it, I really think you need to give your husband 10 yards. Mm -hmm. if, you give him, if you give him that kind of gap, eh? Start giving him attitude. He will respect you. Yes. Because it's high time he needs to respect you. It's high time he needs to value you because I, I don't see him valuing you here. There's no value here because see finish now, don't enter. That's just the thing. Before this thing turns to physical abuse, oh, you better use your Fe head. Wake up. Fe physical what? Yes. <laughs> you heard that me. That is never going to happen. You think so? Uh, let's, let's just end it there, please. Not in this generation. Me. <laughs> physical <laughs> what? You you stop watching TV. Do you know me? The way men Please, I beg, I beg, beg. Let's just end it. Let's just end so it. So you here. think so? I say let's end it. Here. No problem. I just pray you watch it. Come stop on. it now! Stop it now! What are you doing? You better adjust this your hand, or I'll adjust it for you permanently. I've missed you. I've missed her so much. Come on now, let me have a taste of you. You've missed who? You. You better keep your sour emotions to yourself. I'm missing you. You want to have a taste like I'm, 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 I'm some piece of pizza or, or, or what? Please. You have changed so much. This past few months since you started working in this place, your attitude, your dominion, everything has changed in this house. Who is talking to you? And who are you listening to? Are you seeing someone else? What is this one talking about? Oga, I am not ready for your rhetorics. Respect yourself, bros. As far as I can remember, I'm still your husband. Now I am Oga. I am Bros. Uh, let it go. Uh, come on now. Let, let me just come in a little. Uh, I, won't, I won't be long. Just come on. Come on now, baby. Hmm? Oh, stay. I can see you don't want me here. Get, let go of me. Let go of me. I'll be in the guest room. Knock on that door and see what happens to you. Rubbish. Hi. Okay. Ah. It seems like your husband is not home. That one. He just up and left without saying a word. I guess he must have gone for job hunting or something. I don't know. <laughs> job hunt? Mm. On a Saturday? I mean, who does admi administrative work on a Saturdays? <laughs> mm. I don't know. That, that's, that's his business. My own is he should stop Bossing around in this house. He should just own up. Accept his failure. Rather than looking for who to lord. I'm trying. You see, that's just that gender for you. I mean, I hate men with ego. I can't just even stand it. Hi, Julie. I will personally put them in their place. Mm. A young lady. You are worth your weight in gold. That's, Come on. <laughs> that's me for you. My dear, you really need to be careful. It's high time you watch it. But do you want everything you've worked? Do you want it to go down the drain? Mm -hmm. Or you want him to handicap you? Handicap me? How do you mean? Okay. I mean, are you a learner? I mean, do you want your husband to get you pregnant? So that all these things you've worked for will just 
Uh, have you forgotten so soon? You remember how you how you wanted this work so badly? Do you want to do you want everything you've worked for? Do you want it to go down? The Never. Trip? I don't want that. So you know what to do. But Julie, do you know you're a genius? That man mm. tried touching me last night. I had Can't to go imagine. to the guest room to sleep. Tell me about it. Oh, that's his plan. <laughs> <laughs> Never going to work. My dear, your husband is a genius. He's very clever. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. My dear, I need to go. The lion of the tribe of this house is around. See you on Monday. <laughs> Let me see you. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Michelle. See that lady that just stepped out of this house? The one you call Julie. I do not want to ever set my eyes on her again in this house. You must be joking. Let me assure you, I'm not joking. I respected you, that's why I did not tell her to leave. And I've noticed for some time now, you've changed. You've become someone else. You've become incorrigible. Since you met her, you've, you have become incorrigible. Stubborn, unpredictable. That's what you've become. You're just ranting absolute nonsense. Look at you. You now want to control who I hang out with? Why? Are you now suddenly jealous and self-centered? Oh, stop it. Stop it, Richard. Stop it. Are you talking to me that way? Who do you think you are? Michelle! You have pushed me to the wall. And now it's time I come after you. I will not accept this from you henceforth. And I want you to mark this and take it into your thick skull. Understand? What do you want to do? No, what do you want to do? Be on your feet. Hit me. Since you think this thing in between your legs makes you a man. Rubbish. I assure you, you don't want to find out. Daddy is home. Where is my little angel? Mommy, where is everybody? Yes, hello. Uh, 
Mama, Mama, yes, it's me. How are you, ma? Good evening, ma. Good evening, my son. Uh, How are you? I'm okay. But How is my daughter and my granddaughter doing? Ma, that's why I'm calling you now. I've been out and then I just returned back home to find out she's nowhere to be found. She's not here and my daughter is not here too. So, ma, are they in your place? What do you mean that uh, you didn't see them in the house? I'm serious. I came back, checked everywhere. I can't find them. I'm really worried, ma. I, I just want to know their whereabouts. Are they with you? I, I don't know what to think anymore, ma. Hey, this is serious. Left us in there. What is wrong with this girl? Eh? It is really serious, ma. I don't understand her anymore. For some quite some time now, it's like every time there is always rift between me and her. This is not the lady that I married. This is not the lady that I courted, that I proposed to. Ma, he's telling seriously on me and I don't know their whereabouts right now. You know what, my son? Put yourself together. I will just put a call to her and know what the problem is. Raise yourself up, and I don't be a man, okay? It has not been easy, ma. And it's not easy to keep up the temple for now to be a man. As much as I can, I have been doing my best to keep my family afloat. But I don't understand where my wife stands in all these anymore. Be strong. You know what? I will call you shortly. Okay, Mom. Thank you. There's a woman here that I want to see you by all means, her downstairs. A woman? Which woman is that? She claims to be your mom. My mom? Yes, ma'am. Um, please, tell her I've gone out for field inspection. Whatever you tell her, just tell her I'm not around. Please. I don't want to see her. Please. Just tell her to go. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. You can go back to your duty post. Oh. So you were telling your security to tell me that you are not around. Okoya? Oh, no, no. Eh? Hey, just hold it. Keep your greatest yourself. Enamia. Adana, what is the problem with you? Haven't you been seeing my missed calls? Why haven't you been picking your calls? Oh. You think I will not be able to trace it to your office, okay? Keep down your voice. This is a workplace. You want to create a scene here. Come on, let's share on. Shut up that your mouth or before I shut it for you. I thought you are smart. Hi! I never knew you're still a child. So you left your matrimonial home for this. Eh? Hey! I wonder how you reason sometimes. You left a man that loves you. That has been taking care of you much more than you needed. You left him to cold. Okay? In short, where is that stupid girl? That stupid girl that is personally wrecking your home. Come office here! Mama! Show me her office! What is this? Where is her office? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? You want to put me in trouble? Oh, you want me to lose this job? <laughs> Why you want me to lose my job? Yes, so. Yes, so. If losing this job, eh, will you set this coconut head of yours? Okada no money. That is the right bet. Yes, because if not, which woman in her rightful senses will go out of her matrimonial home when nobody is pursuing her? Tomorrow now, you will say, it's the work of the devil, no? Hey, my village people are after me, oh. You can want, can want, oh. Hey, they will know that you are the one pushing yourself to them. Okay now. Eh? Okay, I'll come back home. I'll come back to the house. But mama, have you paused to think how I feel about this whole thing? 
How it feels to have a man who doesn't support me. He antagonizes everything I do. He doesn't support me at all. By a goat. Are you hearing me? Oh, goat. Yes. Do you know that this attitude of yours contributed to his losing his job? Not only that, you put him under emotional stress. Emotional stress? Yes. Mama, I did not... It's okay, Mama. It's okay. I will, I will come back home this evening. I'll come back to the house this evening. This is not the matter, Mommy. I'll come back home. I will come back home. By the time I get home, in Anuya, if I get home before you and you don't come home, hell, you will pity yourself. Akwinano, take me by my words. I am leaving now. But if you don't come back home, hell, I better get a man. I pity you. Nonsense. Going on here. What did you Hey, you know what? Oh God. Eh? What is going on? No, my son, my son, my son, David, David. Oh my God, what is this? David, what is it? David, what is it? What is it? Leave me alone. I want to die. You want to what? Go for bit. Let me die. You cannot die. Go for bit. Leave me alone. My enemies will not laugh at me. My enemies will not laugh at me. David, why are you doing this to yourself? Uh, why do you want to do this to me? I am sick and tired of it all. Oh, my David. David, you are smarter than what you think you are. I want you to pick up the pieces of your life together and move ahead. Give me. You are smarter than what you to me. Think about the people you will leave behind if you do that. Your daughter, your relative, and your loved ones. Why do you want to do this to us? Why? David, please don't do this. David, you need to put up the pieces of your life together. I beg of you. You can do it. You really need to go out there and show them you are a man. Go out and possess your possession. David, look at my face. If you actually know that I am your mother-in-law, I need you to prove that to me now. Stand up on your feet and prove to me that you can do it. Go out there and possess your possession. Stand up now. Stand. I know you can do it. I will. Go ahead. I know you can do it. Go ahead. Stand on your feet and prove to the world that you can do it. I know you are a strong man. David, you need to go out there and prove to the world that you are not a weak person. And I know you surely do it. Go out and possess your possession. Yes. You need to do that to prove to the world that you need to do Good day, sir. Welcome to ESC Media. How may I help you? Uh, please, I'm scheduled for the interview today. You're here for the interview scheduled for today? Yes, please. What time was on the mail? Where we received today? Uh, 9.30. What time is it on your watch? I'm sorry, I know it's past midday. You were scheduled for 9.30 a.m. and you're just coming now? Sir, please, this organization is not for jokers. You see, Circumstances beyond my control prevailed against my arriving on time. Please, will it be possible for you to talk to the HR department for me? I know I'm really qualified for this job. Sir, this is not necessary. The interview is over. 
Maybe next time. I'm sorry. Ma, you don't understand. I am really qualified for this job. And it means a lot for me to get this job. I sir, I'm sorry. The interview is over and as you can see, I'm busy, sir. Please, next time. Huh? J j please, just... Just talk to them in the Human Resources Department. Just... I'm not here to bother you. Please. Please do it for me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Interview don't finish. You're here. Ah, please go. I'm working now. Ah. Ah. I, I'm, I'm... I'm most qualified for the job. I'm sorry I can help you. Ah. Please. Madam. Oh, hi, good hi. evening. Good evening. I see you're in need of assistance. Oh, please, I am. I don't know what happened. The car just stopped. And I've been trying to call my husband. I don't know where he dropped his phone. It's unfortunate. I don't even know what to do. Well, I could be of help. Really? Yeah. Please. Let me know that I know much about what to do myself. I could call my mechanic. Please. Uh, oh. Just try and see whatever you can do, please. Okay. I need to get out of here. Let me try to start the car and see. Okay. Am I supposed to touch anything? I'm sorry, madam. It's not picking at all. I don't know what happened. It just stopped. Well? It's electronics. That's what it does sometimes. But I have a mechanic who can handle it. Should I put a call through to him? Yeah, yeah, hello? Yeah, how are you? Please, I need your attention right now. Yes, hold on. Um, you remember the exact spot where you picked me up the other day? Yeah, very mm -hmm. close there. Just after you make the right turn. That's exactly where I am. Yes, you meet me there. I need you now. You know now. Come on. All right. Thank you. Please, honestly. Oh. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Are you sure you can fix this kind of a car? Of course, that's his specialty. Oh. Electronics. How far? Yes, sir. Are you sure you can actually handle this kind of a car? It's nothing for him. <laughs> just, just what? <laughs> what has this happened? Wow. Congratulations, your car is back to life. Oh, thank you. All because of you. Thank you so much. It's nothing. Nothing. Wow. Yeah. I'm not talking now. Bros. As we did one. Thank you. I'll send, I'll send message. I'll send message. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm so very, very grateful. You don't I really don't know how to thank you. You don't have you. to. I mean, but, we do it for humanity. Really? Yeah. That's thoughtful of you. Give me a second, please. All right. I don't mean to be rude. I just thought I'd give you something for your stress, for all your troubles. Thank you. That's not necessary, you know? No. I mean, just only to pay your mechanic and then your time, your stress. No, I can handle that. We do it for humanity, like I told you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you so much. I can't thank you enough. I do hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you very much. I probably much. would have offered you a ride, but I'm so in a hurry to get I understand. Out of I understand. It's okay. It's thank okay. you. Thank it's you so okay. very much. You're so nice. Thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs>
Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, yeah, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I'll call you back in the next 10 minutes, I promise. <laughs> What's up, girl? What's up, you should girl? have spoken to, with the person now. I'm still here. I'm not rushing. <laughs> my dear, there's nothing for you to worry about. Um, I think my other brother, my other brother called. You know we are like five fences. We are so fond of each other. Oh, I understand. <laughs> I understand. Like we're saying, mm -hmm. why is your husband? What about him? That one. I don't have his time. It's my daughter I miss. It's Audrey I want to see. Mm -hmm. But each time I get to my mother's house to see her, she will start preaching episode to me. I'm tired of listening to her unending sermons. I'm tired. Look at you now. Mm. Look how free you. I want to be like you, girl. I want to be like you when I grow up. Oh, really? Mm hmm So you're trying to cajole me now, Abby? Uh-uh. You're trying like to cajole me now. You that got promoted. Double promotion at that in less than six months. Don't even go there. And you know I'm grateful for that. Mm. I thank you for that. I mean, mm -hmm. but for you, girl, I wouldn't have come close to closing any of those deals. Mm -hmm. I'm eternally grateful to you. Mm. <laughs> That's not a big deal. You know, my my prayer for you is you should just live your dream life. Mm -hmm. And that's what you're actually doing right now. Yeah. Come, come and take a hug. A mm. hug. Oh. A hug. It's <laughs> 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 dramatic. <laughs> Thank you. you go Meanwhile, let me get back to my office. I okay. have a visual meeting with a client from London. Oh, really? Please go get the bag. Go secure the bag. Mm -hmm. That's how we roll. Um, <laughs> Mr. Forget, how far? What's your plan for tomorrow's banquet party? What Girl, are you going? I don't think I'm going for it. I won't be at that party tomorrow. Yeah. I have a date tomorrow. I have a, a date. A oh, date. sorry. I meant I'm seeing my brother tomorrow. Everybody is coming into town tomorrow. So that has automatically stuttered my plan. Plans. So you're going to miss this party? <sighs> Girl, we have so many it's times fine. to rock it's and fine. roll. It's fine. Don't worry, not, no, to, no, no, worry. No, no, no. not to worry. It's fine. We have fine. more time Are we to party for the two of us? <laughs> we have more time together. Let me All right, girl. girl. No, 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 no. It's fine. Come on. Come Are you on. sure? It's fine. All right. <sighs> Hello, baby. Which kind of misfortune is this? Just when I finally get a mail for an interview, this temptation just rears its ugly head. How can the boss be spoiling on the road unnecessarily? Ha! I had known I should have left my home by 7 a.m. I had a positive energy this morning. An inkling that something huge is coming. And that is the time the village people will remember me. Now, I have missed the interview that I so much anticipated. And to crown it all, I lost all my credentials today. How do I retrieve my certificates? Where will I see this woman? Hello. Yes, yes, you on to Mr. Delhi. Yes. Ah, yes, yes, ma. Good evening, ma. Ah, well, ma, sorry, I forgot my files in your car. How can I get them back, ma? Yes, yes. First thing tomorrow morning, I'll be there. Good evening, ma. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you, ma. Okay. Bye-bye. So there's still good people in this world. We got the world on our feet.
Good morning, young lady. Oh, why have you no date today now? I tell you, if you don't finish, what are you doing here? I'm not here for an interview. So what are you here for? My name is uh, Mr. David Njoko. Mrs. Lumide is expecting me. Your name is what? David Njoko. <laughs> okay, you've all talked since now. Um, Mr. David, oh wow. Uh, yeah, oh. Uh... <laughs> Hello, ma. Mr. David Njoko is here to see you, ma. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. I want to apologize for yesterday. I'm, That's okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. Yeah, thank you. You're very pretty, I must say. No? Thank you all. Hey, this is how we're doing this job. I understand. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, um, sir, her office is just straight. Yeah. The first door by the right. Okay, first door by the right. Yes, yes, all sir. Right. So, sir, please, you can talk to her to increase it's all right. my salary. Okay. Thank you. Uh, don't say anything. I actually want to say a very big thank you for the other day. You were a lifesaver. I really don't know how I could have done it without you that day. Thank you so very much. You're welcome. You know, I'm sure you're surprised that um, I called you. Yes, indeed. Uh, I'm trying to reach you, trying to find how to come and contact you the other day. I couldn't help but look through this file that you dropped, mm. and that was where I got your contact. Okay. And I found out it's your qualification, your credentials. Yes. I'm surprised. You, 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 you're, you're so well read. Oh, madam. Yeah, true, ma'am. I was just on my way from the interview here yesterday. Oh, you were? Yes, ma'am. I was here. But I came late. Oh. And so your receptionist will not allow me to come in. Oh. And I believe I have the prerequisite uh, requirements and the experience for this job. Ma. That's oh. why I applied for it. Well, you've been out of job for a while. And with this sort of qualification, how come you, you couldn't get another job? Uh, it beats me, ma. I've done mm -hmm. all I could, but um, I, I guess I've just been unlucky. Ma. Wow, unlucky. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Anyway... Let's say it's your lucky day, <laughs> having you help me that day. Give me a minute, please. Um, let's see. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Mr. Dave, right? Yes, yes. Dave. Dave. Enjoy. How soon can you get to start work, Mr. Dave? Mr. Dave? I beg your pardon, ma'am. How soon can I start work? Yes. Now, right away, right now, ma'am. I want to start right away. Uh, okay. Uh, Dave, right? Dave what? Yes, David Njoku. David Njoku. Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. Okay, so this is what you're going to do for me. Here is your credentials. Thank you. Um, you're going to take this to the receptionist. Okay. So she's going to take you to the HR manager. Okay. I've instructed them to um, uh, draft your employment letter and you can start off right away. I hope that's okay by you. Madam, you're an angel. Aww. <laughs> she don't Thank know what you. this means to me. This is a lifesaver, man. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. One good turn deserves another, right? So, Thank you. It's your lucky day. All right, Mr. Dave. And we're going to require you to run some medical checks from one of our accredited hospitals. I hope that's fine by you. Fine, I'll be ready for that. All right. So, Mr. David, right? Yes. Unjoku. Yes. Thank you so very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a lovely day. God bless you. Yeah, Mama. Hello. Yes, it's me. Good afternoon, my son. Ah, you sound excited. Uh, yes, Mama. <laughs> I got a job, man. 
I got a job, a bigger and a better one for that matter. Hey, <laughs> hallelujah. I am so happy for you. Uh, thank you, ma. This thank you, ma. Celebration. <laughs> yes, ma'am. How's Audrey? She is doing very fine. She is sleeping as we speak. Oh, that's okay. I guess I'll have to call back later. Please extend my warmest greetings to her. Thank you, ma. Okay. Bye. <laughs> yes, I'm going to show you over there. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, Mitchell. Hey, Jules, what's up? Um, I was wondering if I could come over to your place so we could liaise for the presentation tomorrow. To my place? I've gone for a vigil. You know, you have to start, we have to start drawing closer to God. You know, these days, even you too, I also advise you also draw closer to God. So I went to church. <laughs> Yes, now. Is it wrong to pray? Hey, my goodness. Wonders will never end. It's okay. Pray for me, oh. I will. You know you're my personal. Oh, wahala. All right, now. Talk to you later. All right, bye. Yes, who is there? I want you. Call me, no. Hey, I got both. I got both. My darling baby. Mama, how are you? I am fine, as you can see. You're welcome. Uh, how's it been? I miss you. See? Grandma this is beautiful. <laughs> Grandma, you spoil this girl. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> come on, come on. Yay! Oh, Gomu. Hey! Look at you, you look so radiant. Look at how fat you have grown. <laughs> huh? You're welcome. Thank you, Ma. It's peace of mind and work has been going on very well. I can see that. Thank you, Ma. <laughs> uh, where are the boys? They are the backyard, ah. taking care of the poultry. I see. I hope there's no problem. No, no problem. They could have helped him bring in the things inside. Yeah, oh God, man, the cause. So you want to tell me you brought more food stuff? Is it every time you are coming and you be bringing? You know, too much, you know. You eh? deserve the best. Oh. <laughs> thank you so much. Eh? Thank you, Mom. Mama. Mama, mm -hmm. I thank you very much. Mm. I thank you for all you've done for me. I thank you for being there for me. I so you have to thank God. In the midst of hopelessness, you give me hope. <sighs> thank you very much, Mama. I appreciate you. And you were also there for Audrey, my daughter. Uh -uh. You took care of her all through this period. Kogomoki, Audrey is my granddaughter. If I don't take care of her, who will? I agree with you, Mom. I know. Thank you very much. <sighs> I'm Thank good. you, ma'am. Thank God. I need to inform you that at the end of the month, I'll be coming over to take Audrey home. Ah, why? She'll be starting school. Oh. And in that regard, I've also employed the services of a nanny. A nanny? Yes, nanny to fully concentrate on her. 
and the same nanny will be taking care of all the chores at home. <sighs> That's a good idea. So when it's time, when you are ready, you come and pick her. Thank you for being a beautiful mama that you are. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you very much. And thank you for being a good son-in-law. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I have to be running along now. Please, <laughs> please, help me get the boys to come down <laughs> to the car to pick up. Where are they? Ugo, Chukwu! Ebu Mazi Ugo! Where are they? Take care. God will see you through and grant you Johnny Mercy, okay? Come in. There's a letter for you. Okay, thank you. Okay. You may leave. Okay. Oh my goodness. The sack letter. This is my name. What this can be? Can't be. Hello? Hi, how are you? How are you doing? Julie, I'm not fine. Julie, I just received a letter from the headquarters this morning. I've been sacked. Sacked? Really? That's quite strange. How manage? I don't know, I don't know, Julie. I know there's an ongoing uh, downsizing across the group. But I mean, I, I couldn't be sacked. I just won best staff of the month this month, just this month. Talk to the management, please. My, my job is at stake. You know I've given in too much to lose this job. Please, help me. Pull the string at the top. It's you. It's you, Julie. Come through for your girl, please. Let's see how much you I'm okay. I I'm counting on you. Please, I'm counting on you. Thank you. My friend Mitchell. Mitchell, meet my boyfriend. Oh, my fiance. Yeah. I hate men. I really think you need to give your husband 10 years. Start giving him attitude. He will respect you. I am single to stupid. Oh, oh. Are we yeah. getting married? Yeah, we are. Hi, Michelle. <laughs> nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Never mind me. <laughs> you know. Kendrick and I have been childhood friends and we reconnected again when I went to the UK and the rest is just, you know. 
love you, we are getting married and yeah, we love, are. trust me we're staying forever mm -hmm. just for you my just love. for you baby mm -hmm. <laughs> you can join us yeah 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 sure sure yeah sure. we'll sure. be having a party <laughs> oh my god oh. <laughs> I love oh, you, baby. I love you too. I want to have your egg. Oh, maybe she's not happy. <laughs> you know, do you not know, do people can be jealous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's me. Oh, thank God, baby. Mm. I can deny. You are the sweetest of all. <laughs> we had it all. Thank you very much for being my wife. Thank you for being my helpmate. I want to thank you especially for being my partner, my companion. You are the sunshine that radiates my life daily. I love you so much, baby. Mm. Nothing in this world compares to you. <laughs> I don't think if I've gotten married, I would have been able to achieve this much. I really think you need to give your husband 10 years. Adam Maya, you have to be very careful with that girl. I don't like her any bit. And my instinct tells me that she's not a nice person. Start giving him attitude. He will respect you. Me? Paranoid? You should be grateful I'm doing you a favor. I'm taking away your shame, taking up your responsibility. Now what do you want to do? Be on your feet. Hit me. Since you think this thing in between your legs makes you a man. Rubbish. What have I gotten myself into? What have I done to myself? Uh, no, 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 no. I have lost everything. I've lost everything. I left my matrimonial home. I left everything just in pursuit of his job. And now I've lost it all. I abandoned my only precious daughter. I avoided my mother's repeated advice all because of this stupid job. And now everything is gone. I've been brought back to base. And automatically the company takes everything they've given to me. Where do I go from here? Because I don't face my fault. My face has been really cold with shame. How do I face the world? To make things right. I'm in a total mess right now. Right I'm in a total mess. I need mess. a second chance. Cause I don't learn my lessons. Oh. Mm. So you finally decided to visit. Hey, you avoided my repeated calls. Anyway, welcome. Actually, go do. This one, your face is like this. Are you okay? You have been away for so many months now, and you just came in here, your face looking like this. Or the Panama. I hope all is well. Mama, I'm in a big mess. I'm in a very big mess. What happened? I just lost my job. <laughs> I see. You just lost your job. Eh? Hmm. The same job that made you leave your husband to the cold. You abandoned your daughter to suffer ulcer as a result of starvation. The same job that made you reject my calls. I see, Pam. Eh? Hey. I see that thing that made you to come here today. There must be something fishing somewhere. Have you seen your life? <laughs> oh, set, yeah? I'm sorry. Come on, man. Just shift. Shift, shift. I have wronged you. I have wronged my husband and my precious daughter. I don't know. I don't know how to face my husband, please. As a husband. Oh, you are still referring to him as your husband. I can see you are sleeping. 
You better wake up from your slumber. In a way, you better wake up. Your husband that came here the other day and took his daughter away. Hey. I went to visit him only for me to get there. I saw a lady heavily pregnant. A female. Takora! Come on, Asuma! Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Asuma, I can't Asuma. Don't touch me. Asuma, no. Look at me. You can't be doing it. Please, you have to help me beg him. Please. You know what? My husband. You know what? Oh, yeah. Who? I cannot. Sing it half for my car. You're not doing this. Listen to me. You say you should not cry. You know what? Calm down and listen. Let's not get the rap. I didn't say you should not cry. Cry very, very well. If you like, eh? Cry. Let blood come out from your eyes. In fact, I'm going in to get you a bucket. In the busa yeba. So that you cry that your eyes out. You know what? But the only thing I want to tell you. Don't use your own eh, to disturb my neighbor. I'm going to lay a quack quack. Give me a day at me. Wait for me, I'm coming. I will get your bucket for you. Come on, come on, come on. See you, son. Hi. What have I done to myself? What have I done to myself? Dave, I'm sorry. Mama, please. I need a second to you. Please. Second chance Let's make it right again Make it right again Good afternoon Who are you? Should be asking you that question. Who are you and what are you looking for? I'm in pain because I know it's my fault. I was searching for something and now I lost everything. Now I regret what I did and now I'm begging for a second. Cause I don't know my lessons. Who's there? Don't worry. I'll get the door. Awonye, who is there? Your husband is actually my senior cousin. When I relocated into town, he asked me to come and stay with him. Since my husband was currently not in town. Second chance to make things right again. Make it right again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was stupid. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. Please, please find a place in your heart. I have wronged you greatly. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Please. Please. It's okay. It's okay. Rise. Rise. You didn't deserve what I did to you. It's okay. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Baby. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you, thank you, darling. Wait, it's okay. Okay. okay, 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 okay. Let's pack your things and let's go. All right, darling. Oh, okay. She said it all. Okay. So make things right. Make it right again. I need to 
Thank you, Thank you. Thank you, 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 I'm sorry, my love. I love you so much. Thank you, Ma. Thank you very much, Ma. Make it right again Make it right